Hello everyone, my name is Quinn and thank you so much for joining me in this video. Okay, so as I mentioned in my previous video, I got a new sewing machine and I'm really trying to learn how to sew. I've been playing with this machine for about a week, a week and a half now. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm trying to kind of play around with things that I can sew, things I can fix. Um, and one of the first things I thought about doing is doing a hem. One of the items in my closet that is in desperate need of a hem is this dress right here. Now, for my very first hem, this is probably a little bit more advanced than I would like, but I can't think of anything else right now to hem. This is the dress that I actually wore for mine and Jordan's engagement photo shoot. I ordered this from Lulu's and it got in literally like two days before our actual uh, photo shoot. So I didn't really have time to go get it altered um, and professionally hemmed. So I ended up wearing this the way it is to my photo shoot and it was awful. Like I was literally tripping over it. And I think that was kind of when my first realization that, hey, you know, getting into sewing would probably be a really good idea so that I don't have to ever run into this issue again. So because of that, I figured this might be a good dress to start on. So before this video to determine the length I need to take off, I put this dress on and I wore a pair of shoes that I would wear with this dress and then I actually asked Jordan um, for his assistance honestly we're both so new at this I don't even know if we're doing this right but I just told him to mark just above my toes so that you know I'm not tripping over it and that is pretty much what he marked right here and also I asked him to mark about half an inch from the bottom of my heels um, on the back because uh, with your butt in the back it could lift up the skirt so you want to measure both sides because you don't want the back ending up shorter than the front so it looks like we're looking at about five inches so that five inches is in the back about five inches in the front as well and that would make sense because your girl really doesn't have a butt so <laughs> we're just gonna go with it so since I need to take off about five inches from this dress I'm going to measure at four and a half inches to give me a little bit of seam allowance for me to roll the hem under. Another thing that I want to point out is that there are two layers to this dress. There is an inside layer um, and then there's an outside kind of chiffon layer. So the inside layer is supposed to be a little bit shorter than the outside layer because you don't want the inside layer peeking through. So I will be taking the inside layer a little bit shorter than the outside layer and I'll just go from there. I'm going to kind of just wing this. I looked up a bunch of videos and so hopefully I get this right. Bear with me guys, let's cross our fingers and hope that I do not mess up this dress. All right, if you guys are curious to see how this project goes, just keep on watching. Okay, so we're gonna start with the inner layer of the skirt first. So the skirt originally comes with a one inch hem on the inner layer. And since I'm trying to take the skirt up five inches, I'm going around and marking four inches and five inches from the bottom of the skirt. That way I'm giving myself that one inch seam allowance that will mimic that original hem. Next, I needed to separate the inner layer and the outer layer of the skirt. So I'm just going in with my seam ripper and ripping the seams. When you do this, you wanna make sure that you're only cutting the thread and you're not cutting into the actual fabric itself and I'm only removing the seam up to about an inch or so above where I need to take the skirt up to and of course repeat on the other side after that I folded the inner fabric at the 4 inch mark and went ahead and ironed down that crease so that it holds its shape a little bit better be sure to pin every few inches as you go along to keep everything in place then I took the dress over to my sewing machine and I sewed right along the edge of the fold. Now, to be honest, I really don't know how thick the seam is. I literally took the needle all the way over to the right and then I sewed along the quarter inch mark on my sewing machine. That's as well as I can describe it. But here you can see just how close to the edge that stitch is. After that, I took some fabric scissors and trimmed off the excess material off the skirt as close to the stitch line as possible. You really want to be careful not to cut the wrong piece of fabric on this and also not to cut too close to the stitching where it's going to unravel. Now we're going to take the dress back to the ironing board, fold on that 5 inch mark that we made earlier, iron it down, and then pin it into place again. 
Then I'm gonna take it back to the sewing machine and instead of sewing along the edge of the fold like I did earlier, I'm actually gonna move the needle all the way to the left this time and follow the stitch that I made earlier as you guys can see here. And that is pretty much it for the inner layer of this skirt. And now I can move on to the outside chiffon layer of this dress. I'm pretty much going to be doing the same thing I did for the inside layer, but since it's chiffon, I'm going to be doing a rolled hem, which only needs about a half inch seam allowance. So here I'm measuring five inches from the bottom and four and a half inches from the bottom of the dress. Then I folded the fabric over at the four and a half inch mark towards the inside of the skirt. Then I use an iron to press down that crease and pin to secure as I moved along the rest of the skirts. And then back to the sewing machine, just like with the inner layer, I am sewing right along the crease of this fabric all the way around. Then I took my fabric shears and trimmed off the excess material. Again, trying to get as close to the stitch line as possible without actually damaging it or the fabric. Now moving back to the ironing board, I'm folding the fabric at the 5 inch mark, then pressing that crease with an iron, then pinning it as I go along to hold everything in place. As you guys can see, these steps are pretty repetitive. I am taking the dress back to the sewing machine, and just like with the inner skirts, I am sewing along the stitch that I made earlier. The purpose of this is to give it a really clean and polished finish. Here is a look at what the hem looks like once completed. Since this is my first hem, it's not perfect, but I'm hoping to get better over time. The last step of this project is to sew the two layers back together to clean it up again. For me, I like to put things back together the way that I found them, so I'm trying my best to recreate the seam before I took it apart with the seam ripper. Honestly, the seam was a little bit trickier than I thought because I don't remember how it came originally, so it's a little bit sloppier than I would like, but I'm pretty happy with the end result, especially since no one's really going to be seeing this. All right, guys, well, I am finally done with my first official project, which is hemming up this dress right here. Um, now, the reason I chose to do a hem for my first project is because I always thought that hems were supposed to be easy. Unfortunately, um, I didn't think about how much work this dress would be because, let me show you real quick. This is the amount of fabric I cut off of this dress. Uh, which means this is the amount of fabric that I hemmed. So I had to cut and hem all of this material from the inside layer, and then I had to cut and hem all of the chiffon outer layer from this dress. And uh, it actually was a great practice because I had a lot of material to work with and a lot of sewing to do. But because it was so much material and so much fabric, this project took a lot longer than I thought. For me, the time consuming part was the measuring, the pinning, and the ironing of all of the creases and all of the um, folds. But once I was able to do that, you know, I take it to the sewing machine and it's super quick to run it through the machine. I am so, so happy with the results, guys, because I think I had a dress that's similar to this in the past that I wore to Jordan's brother's wedding. And I think just the length itself was like $100 to get altered or um, to get hemmed up because it was just so long and there was so much material. So the fact that I was able to do this on my own and not have to spend $100 was amazing. I love that I'm able to walk in this. Uh, it, was, it ended up being the perfect length thanks to my fiance Jordan helping me out and measuring where I needed to cut. I tried this dress on, I was able to walk, I was able to twirl. It felt so good knowing that I was able to do all that myself and uh, um, it looked really good too. Honestly, I can't tell that it is like a home hem job, so I'm really excited about that. But overall, I feel like this project is a success this is a really good start and i feel great about this journey so far i need to find more things to fix and um eventually just learn how to sew in general 
So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on that subscribe button right there and click on that bell notification so you can see more videos like this. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.